I'm sure nobody would mind if I cheesed it. I could sweet scent. Does sweet scent do the hoard encounter? Let's. Uh, no time like the present. Let's try it. Let's try it and see what we get. Roll the dice. What do we want here? I guess we want a Bulbasaur. Uh, oh my God. All level nine. I'm going to get Tiffany out of there really quickly and go out in the Conan to kind of help. I'm going to try to run away. No, I can't because this is my encounter. I think I messed up. Greetings, good people of the internet. One day I'll figure out a way to address my YouTube videos in a consistent manner. But welcome back to the next episode of the Pokemon Singing Sapphire Nuzlocke. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. We are here in Old Dale Town right now. Um, of course, if you guys missed the last episode, you guys can check it out in the description. Um, we are back in full swing with this series three days a week, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. To the best of my abilities of life does not get crazy because it's crazy times right now, let me tell you. But we are here today. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. You guys might notice I did something different with the background. Uh, it's green in here because today is Friday and, and the Grinch loved Fridays and the Grinch was green and he hated Christmas, but then his heart grew three sizes that day, and he left a like on this video, and so should you, because it helps by the algorithm, and helps uh, helps out the channel, quite frankly. So, let's do a little bit of a team... Let's do a little bit of a team recap here, so you guys know who we've got and why we've got him. First up here, we have Harold! Harold's level 9. He has the damp ability with Tackle, Growl, Water Gun, and Mud Slap. He is mild, and he has good perseverance. He doesn't care if you say no to that candy bar. He is gonna eat where you were gonna take this candy bar. Whether it be a soggy candy bar or not, uh, the the soggiest, the dampest of candy bars. I don't know where I'm going with my controllers here. Next up here, we got Big Judy, the Bidoof. She is level five with Tackle and Growl, the unaware ability, which I actually don't think I knew Judy had. So that's wonderful to know. Uh, Judy is quiet and very finicky. I can't think of. I can't think. Of, I can't think of a joke for that. Next, Conan. Conan, the Nidoran female, she's level 5 with Growl, Scratch, and Poison Sting. The rivalry ability, uh, she is hasty and a little quick-tempered. She is, uh, she is going to, uh, um, she, she, she's, she's gonna be, she has rivalry and she's quick-tempered, so she is gonna cut someone with Scratch. There we go, there we go. That one all came together there at the end. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Tiffany, the Temple. Tiffany with, uh, Tiffany with a Y, two Ys, literally, uh, with the Swift Swim ability, Bubble Growl, and Super Sonic. She is bashful and capable of taking hits because that extra Y. If she didn't have the extra Y, she would only be semi-capable of taking hits. But she is fully capable of taking hits. We're in Old Dale Town and we're making our way over to mm, Pedalburg. Pedalburg, there we go. That's the name of the town that I'm looking to talk about today. And we are going to try to switch train a little bit here on some of these trainers. I don't remember how difficult they are. Of course, this is a Drayana ROM hack, so there is a little bit of an increased difficulty to that, um, in case you guys don't, do not know that, uh, Drayana ROM hacks are notorious for how difficult they can be. So we're going to, uh, that, that, that's one of the allures of doing this playthrough is that it uh, has the potential to get really, really difficult really quickly. But I think for the first few episodes, we should be fine. I would hope, yeah, that's not a, that's not a huge power bundle B. I was worried for a second, but I was not. Um, I'll tell you what I'm not worried about is making puns ever again. For those of you guys who don't know, I actually really... First off, first off, first and foremost... Actually, there's a few things I'm going to point out while we're while we're grinding through this episode. And you guys are just like, well, that Bunnelby's going to get him. I hope he doesn't say anything important because I'm listening intensely to everything he is saying. Uh, first off, if you were to use code CBAD to save on G Fuel products for the next couple days... Uh, it is up to 30% off most products, 20% off on cans, and 10% off the can tub bundle. Uh, it does help keep the lights on over here, quite literally. So if you guys do want to pick some up and try some out, now's a great time to do so. Save yourself an extra couple dollars and, you know, help to keep the green lights on around here. Um, the link to that will be in the description. That is hashtag ad. I do receive uh, financial compensation for purchases using my affiliate code. The FTC is not going to knock on my door today. Um, a few other things. We just, I, I actually just wrapped up one of our charity incentives that we did last month for raising money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital was an ASMR puntastic stream. And while that content will hopefully never see the light of day again, 
I spend the entire time in an ASMR fashion reading puns submitted by the viewers. So if that type of wacky, zanky, zany content is something that you guys are interested in, uh, the link to my Twitch will, of course, be in the description. If you guys want to hang out, I stream typically three to four days a week. A variety of things. The PS5 announcement, boy, we are just, we're going out here, man. There are so many things I'm talking about. The PlayStation 5 reveal thing, as somebody who really, so I've never, like, I've never not liked Spider-Man, but I did have a large, um, I did have a, I did have a large, <laughs> I, uh, I did have a large love and do have a large love for Spider-Man for the PS4. And they let off with Spider-Man, uh, the Miles Morales game. Hmm. Bruh. I was shook. I'm ready for that. That's getting Let's Played. Don't know if it'll make its way over to CBAT at Gaming or if it'll be Twitch exclusive. Probably going on CBAT at Gaming. But uh, that'll be over there. And then... Oh, let's see what... God, that's gonna... This is, something's gonna... Something's about to tickle. Let me try to mud slap you first. Just so you can't hit me. Uh, that'll probably go up over there. And then I'm a huge Ratchet and Clank fan. I don't know if you guys know that. I love that series more than anything. That is probably, if the Digimon World games are my favorite from the PlayStation 1, my favorite games from the PlayStation 2 are the Ratchet and Clank franchise. And they announced a, Ratchet, a new Ratchet and Clank game for the PS5. Be still my beating heart. I was so excited. And I was a huge fan of Horizon Zero Dawn. And they announced Horizon Forbidden West, the sequel. I, if you guys, if you guys, if you guys, if you, if you, little Timmy watching at home, if you are interested in watching PlayStation 5 content, I will be streaming the heckles out of that over on Twitch when that comes out. You guarantee it. Day one. Make sure you guys are over there. It'll be a fun time. I was super impressed by the PS5 trailer, quite frankly. I just, everything from the, from the specs to the, to the games that were showed. I, the, what was the, oh gosh, what was the. Returnal, I think it was. There was an, uh, there was a game from, and if it's not an indie company, I apologize because I'm going to offend them. Uh, should they be watching this? But there was a game from an indie company called Returnal, and that looked, that looked something fierce, quite frankly. Um, I was, I was a big fan of what I saw there, and it has been a long time since I've, well, I guess Ori in the Blind Forest counts, but, um, uh, speaking of, speaking of. There's a full Ori in the Blind Forest playthrough on the other channel. If you guys want to go check that out after this one, because it's going to be the weekend and there won't be Sinking Sapphire in the weekend. So you need something to binge watch anyways. Worth every second of your time. I recommend that indie game to everybody, uh, whether they watch me play it or play it themselves. Anyways, um, it, it was it was it was it just made me like it gave me goosebumps. And I was like, I've not had like I've never seen a trailer for an indie game where I was like goosebumps. You say do tell me more like I've never had that experience. So that was really cool. Everybody was memeing on the design. It looks like Seto Kaiba, like a headless Seto Kaiba turned into a video game console. But I was I was super impressed by the performance. I, I had a chance to sit down and just kind of keep the whole thing on in the background while I was doing some work. Oh my goodness, man. I and, and the Resident Evil trailer. I had no clue that that was going to be a Resident Evil game until it was like, surprise, it's Resident Evil 8. And that's a series I've never gotten into. That game may be the one to get me into it. I don't know yet. Uh, we may do some stuff later this year for October where it is like spooky games, either over on Twitch or on CBATA Gaming, something along those lines. But uh, as of right now, I, I have not dived into that series much, if at all. So that might that might be something around the corner, just around the river bend. If you uh, if you enjoy my Pocahontas impression, but um, if you also enjoy like scary games, you know, that's something else as well to uh, look forward to in the future. And I'm a, how many bugs does this guy have? My God. Uh, we'll go back out in a big Judy and keep trying to keep trying to grind up through here. But P PS5 took my breath away. I, I, I just got the PS4 Pro. I'm going to hope for backwards compatibility. Um, if not, not the end of the world. Uh, Judy can probably take on a Wurmple, right? It's Big Judy. Come on. Come on, Big Judy. You got this. She's got this. She, she's, mm, mm, she's got this. <laughs> um... Was that a, oh, Electroweb. I was like, what did it just use? I was so confused. Why does Worm? Okay, thank you. Thank you for attacking me like that. Uh, I, mm, I want to stay in and just get the experience, but alas, I shan't. Oh, wait, I'm not a ground type. If it Electrowebs me, that might be trouble. I'm like four levels above it. I'm a Herald. Mm, Herald. 
Okay, yeah, we're fine. I was concerned. I, 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 I my, my toes curled for a second. I was like, no, do not cease and desist. I was ready. I was ready for that. But um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for backwards compatibility with that. I did just get the PlayStation 2 hooked up here. I've got the PS4. Um, I don't think I need the PS3, quite frankly. I don't think I need that, you know, necessarily. I, I don't think it's a requirement. I really think I only purchased a PS3. There were a few games, I think, on the PlayStation 3 that I that I really wanted to give a shot out, uh, that I wanted to give a shot to, but it just didn't, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think, I, I definitely was an Xbox 360 guy during that time. I, I had the PS3 essentially just for um, PS2 backwards compatibility, honestly. And now that I've just got a PS2 here, I'm like, why do I need a PS3? There, there, there were a few games that I really wanted to play. Like, of course, continuing the Ratchet and Clank series. Um, any, 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 like, really just remastered, uh, re remastered games for the PlayStation 2 that were put on there. You know, was my was my big ticket item. So I don't know if I'll get that, but I'll probably I'll probably end up bringing getting the. Uh, of course, I'm gonna get the PS5 on launch, and then uh, it's just gonna be a Sony corner, and then featuring my Nintendo Switch. So that's that, that's. That's where this corner is now. Uh, I, I also don't know if you guys, I, I, you guys probably can't tell in post, but I also am going to try my best to kind of cut down on, um, I'm going to try my best to cut down on trips to like the Pokemon Center. Like, 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 am I May now? Um, I'm going to do my best to cut down on trips to the Pokemon Center as far as what you guys can see. I'm going to try to cut those out because they're not really necessary. And I remember th there was, there was some comments. You know, negative comments will always stick with you on YouTube. It's it, it, a thousand people can tell you how good your hair looks, but that one person's gonna be like, "Your hair looks, your hair doesn't look good today." And you're gonna be like, "Gee, thanks, uh, mm, thank you." So I'll always remember one comment when I played Insurgents uh, a few years ago that somebody uh, somebody had mentioned like, "All you do is run back and forth to the Pokemon Center." It's like half the episode, and I was like, "It's a nuzlocke. I'm not trying to die." And this is before I like edited videos. It was just like gameplay, and I would like put ad adjustments to the layout on top, and that was it. Uh, but that literal that comment has stuck with me for years because I do go to the Pokemon Center a lot. I do run to heal up. I don't like just frivolously wasting potions, especially in a challenge run. So it it just it, it, early on too. I just did not want to put myself in that position. So I, I I didn't. So I would just keep running to the Pokemon Center. So, but in this, I'm trying to have more more substance, more gameplay, more memery. Uh, you know, when Harold runs across stream and stuff like that. So I think Conan's level 10, even with rivalry, I should be able oh now growl and rivalry. Never mind, that's not gonna do nothing. And yeah, that did nothing. Can I get a poison? No, I can't. Okay, that's fine. Um more substance, more memes, more, 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 more actual enjoyment than just, oh, great. There's that guy with the beanie running to the Pokemon Center again. Sick. That's, that's my overall game plan with this. And I hope, uh, I hope that the, 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 the game plan moving forward is just keeping the same style of content on this channel for probably the foreseeable future. I don't see, uh, then again, I haven't seen a change from the plan prior. And then now here's the change plan. So. I, I would much rather find videos that you guys enjoy watching and make videos that you guys enjoy watching than just uh, for the sake of uploading. That's not what this channel is about. Um, this is, uh, you know, uh, humor, laughter, fun times, ha ha ha. But the, uh, you know, see that gaming, that'll be that'll be more for laid back stuff. If it gets grindy, if it gets quiet, you know, that's me actually experiencing games. I talked about it a little bit in the update video where I, I had spoken on, you know, Pokemon games. I've really I, I've beaten them to hell and back. You know, I know that I'm supposed to go up here. I know she's a trainer. I know she's going to battle me. I know I can get routes in that patch of grass right there. And I know there's an item in that patch of grass right down below there. These are things that I know. Um, so with all that, it just, you know, I'd, I'd much rather take the time now that I'm like, okay, I've breathed in the gameplay. What do I want to do now? And this is a female Pokemon. So Conan should be able to do a little bit extra damage. There we go. Yeah, that's, whoo, Conan, ooh, she's doing it. She's doing it. She's like, uh-uh, you're not rapping me today. I am the... I am the, what, what is she, the paper master, the origami master? I am the origami ninja. You cannot handle me. I can't edit like origami on the screen, like literally and then figuratively. Like, I guess I could have some origami like floating on screen right now. But uh, I, 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 I've always been impressed by people who can do that. The most creative things I could ever do with stuff like that was I went to a fifth grade. Is fifth grade camp still a thing? Can I still do fifth grade camp? I mean, so, some of you guys watching this probably were in fifth grade. Uh, before I was uh, more recently than I was in fifth grade, 
Um, Gothita's gonna absolutely run me backwards. Let me go out and Herald. Don't have Shadow Tag. Thank you. Um... When I was in fifth grade, we did like this outdoors camp for, I think, the week. I don't recall. But I remember that one of the things that I ended up doing was we got these, uh, like, like string. Like we got string. And we would do like different tricks and stuff with the string. And I remembered like, I think I could do like Jacob's Ladder. And that was it. And then there was nothing else I could do. I forgot all of them. I probably couldn't do it to this day. Like if somebody said... You're never going to see your mom again unless you do Jacob's Ladder with one of those things. I'd be like, at least tell, tell, let me tell her I love her first. Like, I have no clue how to do that. So that's where that is. But now I'm curious. They still do fifth grade camp. I know my brother did fifth grade camp, but he did fifth grade camp when he was in fifth grade seven years ago. Eight years ago now. Oh, I'm getting old. I, I need Tylenol thinking about this. ha. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. What happened? It's doing that thing again. So that was a really unfortunately long cut, but we're back. Um, I'm probably buying another controller after this because I don't know why it keeps locking me on move descriptions in the middle of a battle and then I can't fix it, but um, I had to reset and I, we didn't save all the way through that route. So I had to go back through and do the route. And while I was doing it, I didn't do it the same way. So the mods were weird leveled. So. I went on ahead and just grinded everybody up to a decent point. So Tiffany's level 10, Tiffany learned Bubble Beam, uh, Conan's level 11, Conan learned Double Kick, Judy's level 10 and learned Defense Curl. So uh, here we are. And now we're now we're back all the way where we need to be in the world, in the universe. Hey! How's it going, Seabad? Have you been using your Dex Nav and like perfecting your sneaking skills? I hope you already checked out the Dex Nav's detector mode. It reacts to Pokemon in the area, so it's really handy. What's that? Ah. Uh, look up there. Check him out, Seabad. Oh, I just remembered this edit from the last time. The Butterfree. <laughs> the Butterfree, the Beauty Fly. L L L O L O L. Those are Beauty Fly, weren't they? I'll like have to check my deck snap later to be sure. But wow, we already made it route through. We already we already learned how to read. But wow, we already made it through Route 102, huh? I guess it's really true that time flies when you're with a friend. Oh, look, there's Pedalberg already. Seabad, like your dad. He's the gym leader in Pedalberg City, isn't he? Maybe I should try to take him on myself once I train up my Pokemon a bit more. Guess I'm off then, Seabad. Let's meet up again sometime. Let's not and say we did. Um, I actually don't think I need to heal. Let's go up and talk with dear old Pops. Not bad. It was a good battle. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Come back and challenge me again anytime. I'll be looking forward to seeing you and your Pokemon when you're a bit stronger. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. I'm going to do special training with my Pokemon, then I'll challenge this gym again. Thank you for the battle, Mr. Norman. Hmm? Why, if it isn't Seabad, so you finished moving in? We have no help thanks to you. I see. Well, I guess you shouldn't stand around out here talking. Do you want to come in for a bit? We can talk in the gym. Why, is he like... <laughs> the text in this, he just feels so estranged. So, uh, you're my son, are you? You know, I was, I was, yeah, yeah, you know, I learned how to read while I was here. You know, I sure was surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Ah, I see you're making a good start on your team. Mm -hmm. Then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Seabad? Now that's something I look forward to. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. This is where I come in and just ask for shit randomly, right? And you're just going to give it to me? Hmm? Aren't you, you're Wally, right? Yes, uh, I'm supposed to go stay with my relatives in Verdon Turf Town for a while, but I thought I might be lonely by myself, so I wanted to bring a Pokemon with me. But I've never caught a Pokemon by myself, so I thought I'd come to a Pokemon gym and just ask you to give me one. I'm not sure if I can. Mm-hmm, I see. Seabad, you heard all that, right? You go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, here. I'll lend you one of my Pokemon. Oh, wow, but I had to get mine from a complete and total stranger. Thanks, Dad. Oh, wow. Your Pokemon, sir? Hmm. I'll give you a Pokeball, too. So go give it your best. That way you don't just have to stuff the Pokemon you catch in your pocket. Thank you, Mr. Norman. Oh. Oh. Um, Seabad? You will... You will come with me, right? No. Not at all. Sorry, bub. And we're just gonna cut out that whole cutscene because everybody's seen Wally catch Pokemon, like, one million times. So, we're back. So, did it go well? Yes, it did. Thank you. Although no one will ever know what happened behind the scenes. The lost sinking sapphire footage coming soon to a DVD near you. 
Let me give you back your Pokemon, sir. And you, Seabad, thank you so much for coming with me. It was all thanks to you that I was able to catch Ralts. And you remember that bank that we robbed too? Boy, it's a shame no one will ever get to see that footage. My very own Ralts. And my stack of money. I will always treasure it. Oh, I know. It's not much of a thank you, but, um, Seabad, will you let me see your Pokemon have Plus for a second? Okay, that and, um, there. You can I use the play that features? I read in a book you can use the play nap to take care of your Pokemon and train them, and there's even supposed to be this thing called the PSS where you can meet up with other trainers and battle friends and more. I wanted to have my own Pokemon for so long and do all those kind of things together, so I've had all these kind of apps installed in my Pokemon have Plus for ages. Embarrassing, huh? I'm gonna try my best together with Ralts. You do your best too, Seabed. Oh, but my mom's waiting for me. I gotta get going. I hope we'll meet again, Seabed. And you too, Mr. Norman. Hmm, that boy will be worth keeping an eye on. But for now, Seabed, if you want to become strong as a trainer, listen to my advice. First head for Rustboro City, which lies beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to the other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders as well. Collect badges from them, understand? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. I'm sure we'll battle one day. But that'll only be after you become stronger, Seabed. Thanks, Dad. Dad just called me. Get out of here, you weakling. Get out of here, you weenie. Super weenie, hot huh, juniors. Let's go grab a Route 104 encounter here. Ooh, I don't know what Pokemon that is. Can I use my little Dex Navi dude? What po- is this cheating? Because I can see my encounter ahead of time. Is this allowed? What are you? What are you? Yo, a Swirlix? Oh, I'm with it. I am with it. I I think our what was our encounter here last time? Like a Wingle? Yo, I, I am 100 percent down to have some fairy types on the team. 100 percent I think I can just round and that shouldn't knock it out. Okay, good. I was like, mm, no. I am 100 percent down. I think I'm gonna probably have to look in the notes to see how they changed, because this is. This is the this isn't the sachet. This is the sweet dream. I think that you have to. You it, it's like it's a trade evolution is what it is. So I'm sure it's like a level up. Now I'll have to take a look. Or maybe they change the item to maybe Dre changed the item to where it is just a uh, just an item use now. And we caught the Swirlix. What do I name? What do I name a Swirlix? I don't even know. I don't even know. Let's see if we can get an idea for the Pokedex entry. If it has one, ah, oh, it doesn't. Great. All right. It's just sticking its tongue out like a derp. Hmm. Give a nickname to the Swirlix you caught. I am going to call you. I am going to call you. I am going to call you. Swirlix is like, it makes me, uh, well, no, because then it evolves into, then it evolves into Slurpuff, which is like a cream puff. I was thinking ice cream, but then it's vanilla. So cream puff, cream filling, uh, 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 what do I want to name you? What do I want to name you? I actually have no idea. I actually have no idea what to name you. Um, Whipped Dream is the evolution item now that I just thought about it. We are going to call you... <sighs> oh my god, wow. Everybody else came to me like it was a fever dream. Like, I was, oh, I got it. I've got the perfect name. What do I call a Swirlix? I'm going to call this Swirlix... Um, um, Pollyanna. Don't ask. Don't ask. Pollyanna the Swirlix. There we go. Pollyanna's on the team now. Let's take a look at Pollyanna. Oh, and we're holding something. Pollyanna isn't holding anything. What? Then what? What? Oh, Pollyanna knows sweet scent. That might actually might be pretty good for like uh, encounters later on. Um, so Pollyanna has sweet veil, which prevents its allies and Pokemon from falling asleep. I don't know what just happened there with the weird frame things, but yeah, it sounds like the computer needs a good old reset after we're done editing this, but. The, the 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 Swirlix line actually has, even though it's modest, it actually has a reasonably like large sized uh, special field special move pool, if I'm not mistaken. So that's gonna be good to have to the team. I think we can make our way into the Petalburg Woods really quickly and grab one final encounter just to round out the team prior to heading into the woods. Did I miss an encounter? I feel like we had more going into this than last time. Maybe. I'm not sure. Let's go. Let's go up. Who's leading the pack? Tiffany's leading the pack. Okay, I'm fine with that. Let's go into Petalburg Woods and let's grab our next encounter. And then we're going to see if we can't round out the team. Oh, here's a Growlithe. Oh, perfect. 
I don't think I've remembered that. That's a nice change of pace, though, because Tiffany is about to go ham bone on this Growlithe, especially because we finally learned Bubble Beam. Bubble was, Bubble was fine, but a 40 base power move after a while. <sighs> Tiffany, calm down. Tiffany, calm down. Lillipop. That's normal type. Uh, Conan knows... Conan knows double kick. Let's go on to Conan. Technically, I should be training up Pollyanna to match with everybody, but we'll probably grind up Pollyanna after... Uh, in between episodes, once we get this next Pokemon. Now... I can probably Tail Whip into double kick. His Tail Whip kind of... So, rivalry, the way that it works, I think it's like times and a half. Or it's like an extra 25% to uh, same genders, and then 75% to opposing genders, so... The tail whip kind of negates it if I know how things work. I might not know how things work. I, I There's a strong possibility. I have no idea how things work, but it looks like the Conan's just going to be able to wrap this up here for us. I'm really hopeful. I'm really hopeful that we get a Phantom and Petal Dark Woods. We've got a really solid team. I think this time around, we have an incredibly solid team. We've got a lot of water types, um, but I think, we've got a, I think we've got a really tremendous team here. I'm going to hope... Can I can I cheese it and deck snap it? I'm sure nobody would mind if I cheesed and deck snap for a for a um for a phantom for the memes. I'm sure nobody would mind if I cheesed it. I could sweet scent. Does sweet scent do the hoarding counter? Let's um, no time like the present. Let's try it. Let's try it and see what we get. Roll the dice. What do we want here? I guess we want a Bulbasaur. <laughs> uh, oh my god. All level 9. Yeah, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get Tiffany out of there really quickly and go out into Conan to kind of help. I'm gonna try to run away. No, I can't because this is my encounter. Alright, so they all use... Oh my god. I think I think I I think I messed up. I think I need to forfeit this encounter here. Or burn through all of my potions and just get a million experience. Um let's Oh boy. We might have to cut around this one. So I bet you're wondering how we ended up in this space. Well, uh, if you guys, if I sped this up in post, I'm not sure. Come to find out, only one of them can leech seed you at a time, which is great. I'm not affected by poison powder. I resist vine whip, and they were really bad at hitting their sleep powder. So uh, Conan's here, level 12 now. We got a lot of experience, uh, and Tail Whip actually hit all five of the group at once, which was really, really fantastic for us. I'm going to try, now that I've used all my potions, I'm going to hope that these Pokeballs work, quite frankly. Please. Nope. Mm-hmm. Okay, thanks. I think double kick my if it resists double kick, that might be my better play here. Hmm. I'm gonna try one more. I'm gonna keep trying to Pokeball it. I'm gonna keep trying to Pokeball it. And see what we can make happen here. Yes! Let's go. Okay. I hoo hoo hoo. Hoo hoo hoo. Boy, I was uh, I was really I was really worried we were not going to come out of that horde encounter alive, but uh, we got ourselves a pretty powerful Pokemon to add to the team here. It's not Danny Phantom, but um, I do want to take a look here. I can't remember. Um, uh, Danny Phantom, bully. Um. There we go. Dash Baxter was the name of the guy that bullied Danny Phantom. And this guy just came up on us with all of his friends and bullied us. So we are going to call this Bulbasaur Baxter. That is what we are going to do there. And then I have sweat enough in this uh, in this little, uh, this little encounter there to uh, fulfill a lifetime. So let's take a look at Baxter here. Baxter has the Effect Spore ability. Okay. May cause poison, paralysis, or sleep. 
Leech Seed, Vine Whip, Poison Powder, and Sleep Powder. And he is lonely, but he's somewhat of a clown. Wow, he really is a bully. That's crazy. That's crazy. So positive attack, minus defense. We have a lot of, like, glass cannon um, natures right now, so... We're going to head over to the Pokemon Center and then we're going to we're going to we're going to frankly wrap up things here for the day. I hope you guys have enjoyed. This has been a I, um this is uh I don't know how long this is going to be in post, but I have been raw recording for about an hour now. So whatever ends up happening happens. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, I ask you guys uh, you know, leave a like on the video. Let me know your guys thoughts in the comment. Leaving a comment always helps out, you know, shows YouTube that you guys are actually commenting and like interacting with the video and um, of course, if you guys want to check out any of the videos that I mentioned in this, uh, in this, uh, including the Patreon post, uh, I don't even know if I talked about Sumara Sunshine. Sumara Sunshine's out. There's a link to that. Uh, link to the last episode in case you guys watched all this and said maybe I should really see the first one. Um, and then the Ori in the Blind playthrough, uh, Ori in the Blind playthrough, Ori in the Blind Forest playthrough, the Blind playthrough of Ori in the Blind Forest. Um, links to all those videos will be in the description. If you guys want to check those out? Thank you guys so much. As always, I want to remind you guys to be great and do great. And I'll see you on the next video. Later.